Draft Relationships for Animal Drawn Tools and Implements. Hello everyone. I'm a faculty member in the Biosystems and Agricultural Engineering Department at Michigan State University. I lead an integrated research, teaching, and extension program in appropriate scale mechanization and building sustainable agroecosystems. In this work, I have been closely involved with Tillers International in Scotts, Michigan for many years. In recent years, I have been using spatial technologies to refine our understanding of the pulling forces generated by draft animals. If we lack an understanding of what we ask of our working animals, we may not know why they act up in particular ways. If a teamster mistakenly thinks a load is light, he may become frustrated and overly demanding, causing the animals to become nervous and unpredictable. Repeatedly overloading a team will discourage them and reduce their willingness to pull. My goal here is to explain how modern tools of precision agriculture can help improve animal comfort and productivity by better matching the team's ability with the demand of the load. The animals are the tractive power source. By selecting and adjusting tillage implements, you can manage and conserve the animal's energy and help them accomplish the task with less effort or accomplish more work with the same effort. Implement draft is the force measured as pounds force required to move an implement in the direction of travel. With a tillage implement, the draft is primarily resistance from soil and crop residues. Still, changes in soil moisture cause wide variations in soil textural groups, such as sandy loams or silty clays. In this image from West Africa, we evaluated the redesign of a row cultivator. You can see the load cell in the towing chain. The blue box contains a global positioning system and a data recorder. In earlier work, we evaluated the pulling forces transmitted between a team of oxen and a stone boat weighing 1,000 pounds. Referring to the graph, on the horizontal axis is the time. The pulling force in pounds force on the vertical axis was measured for seven seconds. We compared the ability of two towing mechanisms to dampen or mitigate the rapid oscillation of pulling forces between the team and the load. While the average pulling forces were nearly identical, the pulling forces ranged from about 220 to 660 pounds force. This wide range in rapidly oscillating forces demonstrates the importance of a well-fitting yoke or harness in the interest of animal comfort and productivity. The moldboard plow has a long history of turning the soil to prepare a seedbed. Plowing provides weed control, loosens in areas of soil, and is useful for incorporating inputs such as manure, compost, and soil amendments such as lime. A plow is a high draft tool that can be a physical challenge for small or poorly conditioned draft animals. This is Dwayne Westrate and his team. He uses a 14-inch walking plow to prepare the field in the spring, running 6 to 8 inches deep in sandy loam soil. The average draft of this plow was 522 pounds force. The pulling force could easily be twice as high in a fine textured soil such as a silty clay or clay loam. The draft of most tillage tools is related to the volume of shattered lifted and moved soil. Plowing at a depth of four inches rather than eight inches will reduce the draft by one half and ease the burden of your animals. If weed control is a major objective, skim or stubble plowing at a shallow depth will reduce the load on your animals and allow you to accomplish more work throughout the day. The moldboard plow draft is predictable based on the cross-sectional area of the furrow slice 
of soil turned. You can calculate the furrow slice as the plow's cutting width multiplied by the cutting depth. In this example, multiply the 14 inch width of cut by the 8 inch plow depth. The resulting cross sectional area is 112 square inches. In sandy loam soil, Plow draft is typically about four and one half pounds force per square inch of furrow slice. Here, the measured draft was 4.7 pounds per square inch, or 522 pounds force. In clay loam soil, the draft could easily be nine pounds force per square inch, nearly two times that in sandy loam soil. The draft of a riding plow is typically 100 to 150 pounds force greater than a similar sized walking plow due to the rolling resistance of the riding plow. Soil moisture also has a big impact on plow draft. We measured a 60% increase in plow draft in the same field in dry soil in the fall compared to with moist soil in the spring. In Burkina Faso, plowing is a physically demanding task for draft animals. It comes at the end of the dry season after forage has been in short supply and the animals are in poor physical condition. The local cattle are small compared to northern breeds, usually less than 1,000 pounds. They favor a plow with a small cutting width, usually about 8 inches, and run at a depth of 5 to 6 inches. The soil is a coarse, sandy loam. The average draft was 205 pounds force, 4.3 pounds force per square inch of cross-sectional furrow slice. Weed control is a key tillage objective, so they can reduce the depth of plowing to 3 or 4 inches and thereby reduce the volume of soil disturbed and the animal burden. The animals could then do the same amount of work with less effort or accomplish more work with the same effort. We worked with the local farmers and blacksmiths to build an inline ripper for zone tillage. It disturbed a zone of soil six to eight inches wide, leaving the inter-row area undisturbed. Zone tillage improved water infiltration and soil health by reducing tillage intensity and conserving protected crop residues. Farmers then plant directly into the rip line. The average ripper draft was 94 pounds force, about one half of the draft of the moldboard plow. In Burkina Faso, five shank row cultivators are locally available and widely used for weed control. The farmer identified two major problems with the local cultivator. One, it quickly plugged with crop residue, and two, the draft was too high. He removed two of the five shanks to reduce residue plugging, but this reduced full width root cutting and weed control. He then ran the three shank cultivator deeper to increase the volume of soil thrown to bury uncut weeds but increasing the depth of cultivation increased the average draft to 205 pounds force equivalent to his 8-inch moldboard plow. Disking often follows moldboard plowing when preparing a conventional seed bed. This disc is 6 feet wide and the disc gang angle is set at 18 degrees perpendicular to the direction of travel. It weighs 500 pounds and the weight of the disc with the rider was 645 pounds. The rider carried a global positioning system and we recorded variations in location and pulling force across the field with a pull meter in the towing chain. We also evaluated the impact of additional weight on the disc. Here you see four concrete blocks added to the disc. This increased the weight of the disc with the rider to 800 pounds.
We recorded location and pulling force information once per second and used GIS software to create a map of variations in draft across the field. The legend colors on the right hand side show the disk draft in 100 pound force increments. For instance, yellow shows where the draft was between 450 and 550 pounds force. The standard disk was used on the east side or the right hand side of the field where draft ranged from 350 to 550 pounds force, averaging 430 pounds force. On the west side of the field, the heavy disc draft ranged from 450 to 650 pounds force, averaging 550 pounds force. Clearly, the heavy disc increased the animal's workload. Visually, there was no noticeable improvement in the quality of the seedbed. So you can ease the burden on your animals by tilling the soil only as deeply and aggressively as needed to accomplish the tillage objectives. Use shallow tillage if weed control or leveling a seedbed is the goal. A spring tooth harrow is a good tool to break up crusted soil, uproot small weeds, and level and freshen a seedbed. We measured and mapped the pulling forces of a seven and one half foot wide, 23 tine spring tooth harrow in sandy loam soil. An average draft is actually a distribution of oscillating pulling forces. This graph displays the pulling force in 100 pound increments on the horizontal axis and the frequency of those pulling forces on the vertical axis. For instance, the vertical yellow bars represent the implement set for shallow tillage about two inches deep. At that depth, 45% of the poles were within 300 and 400 pounds force and 40% were within 400 to 500 pounds force. The green bars show draft forces at the three inch depth and the red bars at the four inch depth. The average draft at the two inch depth was 416 pounds force, which increased to 625 pounds force at three inches and increased to 981 pound force at four inches. This figure shows those pulling forces on the ground grouped by area. The colors in the legend on the right show pulling forces in 100 pound force increments. For instance, the pulling forces in the yellow areas range from 500 to 600 pounds force. The harrow was set at the two inch depth on the west or left hand side of the field and three inches on the east side of the field. The draft on each side of the field was quite variable, averaging 416 pounds force at the two inch depth and 625 pound force at the three inch depth. A 50% increase in draft as we saw previously with the disc, increasing the depth increased the draft without a noticeable improvement in the quality of the seedbed. So let's not overwork our animals. Working at Tillers International in Scotts, Michigan and in Burkina Faso in West Africa, we developed an inline subsoiler or ripper for zone tillage. This reduced tillage intensity, improved water infiltration, conserved protective crop residues, and reduced the animal burden by one half compared to the mold bore plow. Combination tillage tools like the ship sheet cultimulcher break down soil clods, level the seedbed, uproot small weeds, and firm the seedbed for planting all in one pass across the field. Our approach to conserving energy and easing animal burden is to go light and go often. 
So two light tillage passes are likely to be less taxing than a single heavy pass. We tested an inline ripper in orange with a winged point in sandy loam soil. The average draft in the untilled ground was 468 pounds force, a substantial load for a team of young or small drafts. The goal was to test the impact of multiple tillage passes of the cultimulture at successive depths to reduce the draft of the inline ripper. The first pass with the cultimulture in green was shallow, about two inches, and with each successive pass, we increased the depth by one notch on the depth control level, or approximately by one inch. The ripper draft decreased by about 17% following the cultimulture. The cultimulture draft increased from 20 to 44% as the depth increased by one, then two, and then three notches. Based on the draft force measured per tillage tine in the soil, the cultimulture was about 33% greater than the spring tooth harrow at the same depth. Of course, the cultimulture is a heavier machine and pulled two rolling harrows. Pre-tillage with the cultimulture reduced the ripper draft by 17%, increasing the depth of tillage of the cultimulture more than offset the draft reduction of pre-tillage. Two tillage passes are common with a conventionally prepared seedbed. This 16 shank field cultivator was initially a tractor implement, but was modified for, it for animal power. Only 11 of the shanks were used to prepare a spring seed bed in ground plowed the previous fall. The graph shows the pulling force in 100 pound increments on the horizontal axis and the frequency of pulls on the vertical axis. The first pass at the three to four inch depth is in yellow. You can see that 45% of the pulling force was in the 900 to 1,000 pound force range, and about 25% was greater than 1,000 pounds. The second pass at the same depth is in red. Nearly one half of the pulling forces range from 600 to 700 pound force, and 30% were between 700 and 900 pounds force. In this case, pre-tillage with no depth increase reduced the average draft of the field cultivator in the second pass by 29%. Okay, let's wrap this up with a quick review of some of the key points. We need to understand the loads we're asking of our animals. Overloading a team will discourage them, cause them to act up, and reduce their willingness to pull. With tillage implements, the effort we ask of our animals is proportional to the volume of soil shattered, lifted, and turned. Reducing the depth of tillage by one half will reduce the animal burden by one half. Go light and go often. That's the best way to conserve the animal's energy and ease their burden. Soil texture and soil moisture have an impact. Plow draft in silty clay soil can be two times higher than in sandy loam soil. Plow draft in dry soil can be 60% greater than spring plowing in moist soil. Skim or stubble plowing at two to four inches will reduce the volume of soil shattered and the animal burden. Zone tillage with an inline ripper was one half the draft and one half the animal burden of a moldboard plow. Compared to standard cultivator shovels, 
low crown, low pitch sweeps increase the root cutting width by 20% while reducing draft and animal burden by 22%. An increase in spring tooth harrow depth from 2 inches to 3 inches increased the draft by 50% with no noticeable improvement in seed bed quality. Adding ballast to increase the cutting depth of a single gang disc increased the draft by 28% with no improvement in the quality of the seed bed. The first pass of a field cultivator in consolidated soil was 40% greater than a second pass at the same depth. I want to thank my friends at Tillers International for help with this work at their farm in Scotts, Michigan, and to express my appreciation for the financial support for the work in Burkina Faso from the U.S. Agency for International Development.